All right, what's up everybody? I am Mr. Brown, and today, I can't get my buttons to work. That's me, Mr. Brown. I'm your teacher. And first off, I wanna say welcome to all of you who are joining us um, in person for the first time today. And those of you who switched to online, kind of a crazy change up, but you should see that not much has changed because I kind of do the same thing, especially since I'm not gonna be back at school for a couple days. Um, yeah, and you know, it's gonna be kind of the same thing we always do. Except today we're learning something new in Photoshop or Photopea. So I'm excited about that. This is Photoshop. This is week seven. This is day two. Let's get started and see what we're doing today. Um, this morning, uh, well, it's morning for me now. I don't know what time it is for y'all. But what we're actually going to be learning is how to add text to an image and a little bit about the text tools. So there, there are a lot of very confusing things when it comes to text, but today we're going to try to keep it a little bit simple. So uh, I've got to have an image that's ready for you guys to go. We're going to create an advertisement for the football game on Friday night and we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. So let's see what we can figure out. First thing we need to do is go to our computers and open Photoshop. I've already got mine open because I was editing a picture of three of my goofy little kids. Um, I have given you a photo to download today, so go ahead and download that. If you're joining us online, um, go ahead and have Photopea open, and I'm gonna try to do both at the same time, so I'm gonna go back and forth. Oh man, I hope that doesn't confuse anybody, but let's just hope and pray it doesn't. So Photopea and Photoshop, I'm gonna try to do them both at the same time. First, I'm gonna do Photoshop. I'm gonna do Photoshop first, and then I'm gonna do Photopea every time. So hopefully no one gets confused, but it's basically the same thing in each, um, in each software, I guess. There's not much difference between the two. So here we go. Um, <clears throat> in Photoshop, you may have just opened it, so you probably have, uh, you probably have, that's yesterday's project. Uh, we're not going to save. You probably have this screen. So we're going to go one more time to open. And I have downloaded the image, which is, this is our image for today. I've got it ready to go. So what I want you guys to do is open that image. You should have already downloaded it. should already have it ready to go. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing in Photopea. Uh, if you're, <laughs> please don't get confused. If you're at school, Photopea is for the people who are learning at home that don't have Photoshop, okay? If you're learning at home, don't get confused because Photoshop is for the people that have Photoshop. So <clears throat> just don't let that confuse you. Um, and on Photopea, I'm gonna go to File, I'm gonna go to Open, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm just gonna click the image, and now in Photopea, I have my image up. In Photoshop, I have my image up. We got the same thing going on in two places. If you're using a Mac and you're trying not to get confused, up in the top it tells you what program you are on. Uh, so you can always look up here if you can kind of see. Uh, it may be kind of small for you guys, but if you can see, that way it might help you know what program I'm actually on in case you get confused or something. So, here we go. The first thing I'm gonna do on this assignment is I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I want you guys to do the exact same thing we've been doing. We're gonna make the the player that the in the foreground stand out. So really quickly, I'm going to do the exact same thing that we've done. I'm gonna turn the background black. So I'm gonna duplicate my layer by hitting Command J. I'm going to go to Image, make sure my new layer is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and double click it and name it black and white. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come up here to image adjustments black and white and this pop-up screen comes up I'm just gonna hit OK this is exactly where we were yesterday doing the exact same thing because that's what I want you guys to do we're building on some skills that we already know about so I'm gonna come down here and go to my eraser tool or hit the letter E on the keyboard and I'm just going to really quickly um, erase around him. I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this because I'm trying to teach you guys while I while I do this. So we're not going to make it exactly perfect, but we're going to try to get it as close as we can. Um, so I'm just going to erase everything around him. 
you know, if you notice, I'm goofing up. There's a little bit of green showing. Man, oh man, whoops. So just ignore that. There's a little bit of black and white that's still kind of fading through. So I'm just gonna really quickly um, create this. You take your time, make it look really, really nice. Um, so what I've got right now is um, pretty much finished for that part. Um, now it kind of pops. I've got the black and white background. I've got the layer zero that is still in color. I'm gonna do the exact same thing in Photopea. It says my page was reloaded because of insignificant memory. Oh man, that's because I've got 700 million tabs open because like you know how old people are, that's what we do. 700 million tabs. So I'm gonna close some of these and I'm gonna start again. So I'm gonna go file, open, reopen my file. It's right here. I'm gonna do the same thing I did over here. I'm gonna hit Command J to duplicate the layer or Control J if you're on a uh, if you're on a Chromebook. I'm gonna to go to Image, do the exact same thing, Adjustments, and I'm gonna go black and white. You get almost the exact same thing. Hit OK, and one more time, I'm gonna hit the Eraser tool over here, or you can just hit the letter E, and I'm gonna make my cursor bigger by hitting the left bracket that's right beside the P key. There's a our right and left bracket. I'm gonna hit my right bracket, make it bigger. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna erase all around this guy, make him color. So I'm erasing the black and white layer. And if you guys remember from yesterday, I'm basically cutting out a hole in the image. And this is exactly the same thing I did yesterday. You guys should be getting the hang of this if you did your assignments. I'm hoping and praying you did your assignments. Um, okay, not perfect, but there we go. So on Photopea, the exact same thing. You should have two layers, a black and white layer a, and a background layer. And you can kind of see what I've got going on here. I'm gonna switch back to Photoshop. Now, today we're doing something new and we're gonna use the text tool. So over here on the right hand side, you can see I've got the text tool. I'm gonna go ahead and click it really simply. When you click it, there is one thing you need to check for, and that is up top. You need to look and see, you, we want this toolbox to be open. This is our, it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but this is our um, text control box. And we are gonna need it, and we want it open. If you do not have it open, look right here. Here is the button that turns it off and on. It looks like a file folder, with like some lines on it. It's kind of weird, but it's right here. If you guys can see my mouse, uh, right there, and it should open this window. So I'm gonna go ahead and click. Now, some of you may have the habit of clicking and dragging. I do not want you to click and drag. And the reason why is, listen carefully, if you click and drag, it creates a text box of a certain size. If you just click once, just click one time, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna have a text box of whatever size you type. So don't click and drag. I've seen so many students do that. That's like the default thing that every student does. Click, drag, then you have this text box and you can't really make it bigger, it causes problems. Just click one time with your, te with your text toolbar selected, click once and it will pop up um, this. This is. This is called the lorem ipsum. It's the default font that, I mean, the default wording they put in there to show you what your wording is gonna look like. Um, it's a Latin nonsense poem, so yeah. I wanna change, I wanna change my, I've got it here. This isn't where I want it, so I need to move it. So I'm gonna come up here. At the very, very top, there's a plus sign. It's the, it's the V tool, or the move tool. And I'm just gonna click it, and I'm gonna move this down just a little bit and I may move it around some more but if you notice right now I've got three layers here three layers I've got my text layer my black and white layer and my color layer over here on the right hand side I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna do the exact same thing in Photopea I'm gonna come down to my text tool I'm just gonna click I'm just gonna click one time and it's created my text and I'm just gonna type now in Photopea it didn't give me lorem ipsum, it just gave me a cursor. So I'm gonna type Terrell 
high school football. And both fonts are black. Um, I've got two different sizes, if you notice. Um, this one is huge. This one is much smaller. Uh, I'm going to go back to Photoshop. In Photoshop, I'm going to change my text color. And I'm going to do that by coming over here to this toolbar. And I, there's a color. And I'm going to change it. And I'm going to change it to red because the Terrell Tigers are red. So here we go. Lorem Ipsum looking good. I'm going to do the same thing in Photopea. I'm going to double click it. Now in Photopea, mm, I don't have my toolbar up. Do not have my toolbar. So, um, I'm gonna have to use just this little area right here up at the top. This is where there is a difference. So I'm gonna click up here where the dark, uh, where the black color is. I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna change my color to red. Make sure you highlight your text first. If you don't highlight your text, it's not gonna make the change. So I just like triple click, it highlights all of it, and then you can change it to whatever color you want. Um, so if I come back, it's this weird kind of maroon color, but I want it to be red. So that's true for Photoshop also. So move your color around, get what you want, hit okay. Um, and so now I've got both fonts red, I'm doing pretty good. This one is huge. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to Terrell High School Football. Oh, it's so big, it's like wrapping around the screen. So I'm just gonna take my cursor, make sure you're still on the text tool. By the way, guys, you, you need to just I go really quick and I apologize, but you need to switch back and forth. Uh, you have to use the text tool to edit the text. And then you, if you need to move it, you can use the move tool. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this. I can shrink it over here. Uh, on my text tool area, and I'm gonna just change it to 72. There we go, and I'm gonna move this around a little bit more. Guys, I, I'm gonna give you the freedom to do this however you want to do it. Um, <clears throat> I, I've got the text, what I want you to say, typed out on Google Classroom and on our website, but you can, you can, arrange it however you want to arrange it. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna just shrink it down some more and I'm gonna position it over here. And I'm gonna create another text layer. So I've got one text layer that just says Texas High School Football. I'm gonna create another text layer right here. And I'm just gonna have verses. And I, for some reason this morning, I wanna make this bigger. So I'm just gonna change my size to like 74. And I'm gonna create another text bar, just single click. And I'm just gonna type Kaufman High School. And I'm gonna triple click and I'm gonna change my font size I'm gonna change it down even further to match my Terrell High School football because we don't want Kaufman's name bigger than ours, no way. So this part of the assignment, I want y'all to be creative and I want you to arrange it however you want to arrange it. You can use whatever font you want to use. That's perfectly okay too. Use whatever font you wanna use, use whatever um, arrangement you wanna use. I just want the information that I gave you, which is the our name, who we're playing, the when and the where. So really quickly, I'm just gonna add that on there. Um, we're gonna be playing at Terrell Memorial Stadium. There is no spell check on this, by the way, Photoshop or Photopea. So make sure you get it right. And I'm just gonna stack all my stuff up down here. Um, and I'm gonna add one more. I'm doing a different text layer for each one of these words. So I'm constantly going back to my text tool, selecting, clicking, and creating a new text layer. You don't have to do it that way. That's just the way I prefer to do it because sometimes I like to move my elements around. Um, so I'm gonna put the last bit of information up here and I'm gonna make it larger. And I'm gonna to change to my move tool. I'm gonna to move it around. So 
So the tools we're going to be using today, we use the eraser tool to get our effect. We used our move tool and we used our text tool. And we're going to use those tools quite a bit. I'm going to come back over to Photopea. I'm going to kind of do the same thing. For those of you that are learning online, I'm going to um, triple click and I'm going to change my font to maybe a little bit bigger, maybe 30. I'm going to come up here to my move tool. It's It's got an arrow and a cursor. And so I'm going to move it over just a little bit and I'm going to do just the exact same thing I did in Photoshop. Just create a new layer for each one. Um, nothing terribly fantastic. I'm going to just kind of copy the same thing I did in Photoshop. And uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm trying to hurry so that you guys don't get bored. And I'm going to move, I'm going to shrink this first. So I'm just going to triple click and I'm going to change the font size down to 30, I think is what I had the other one. 30 seems right. Well, it's 28. That's close enough. So you kind of get the idea. I'm just doing the exact same thing in Photopea that I was doing in Photoshop. Um, again, there's no, uh, there's no, um, spell correct or spell check so make sure you spell it right I can't tell you how many times I've misspelled stuff on Photoshop and then sent something to be published and oh man did I get in trouble oh yeah it's bad so make sure you double check or have a friend double check your spelling that kind of helps too or a teacher sometimes teachers are good for stuff so here we go and I've got kind of the exact same thing going on in both images um, when you're done with this, like I said, I've got different layers for each one, but what I want you to do is I want you to come up here to file, come up here to export as, and then go to JPEG if you're in Photopea. So file, export as, JPEG, and Photopea, you're going to save that, and then you're going to upload that. If you're in Photoshop, you're going to go file, save as, it's a little more complicated over here, um, change the name to your last name and football. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to Brown Football. I'm gonna make the location a place that you can remember. I'm just gonna leave this my desktop. I'm gonna hit JPEG and I'm going to hit save. Another window is gonna pop up. Make sure my quality is at 12. Hit okay and then it just saved. So. Uh, this is what this is your final product. This is what it should be looking like and That's pretty much it So today we're using the eraser tool to do the effect We've practiced the last couple days and we're adding in the text tool um, To create some text. We're gonna play around with the color um, You guys should be kind of comfortable with that. I want you to use your own creativity and style pick your own font pick your own sizes Arrange it however you want to arrange it. Uh, this is going to be due tomorrow, but you need to be working on it today. Get as much of it done as you can because there is going to be another assignment for tomorrow. And starting next week, we're going to be moving at a much quicker pace. You're going to get one assignment a day. So you have to spend class time working on it, getting it done. So yeah, get into that habit, get into that routine. All right, guys, uh, if you have any questions, email me at william.brown at terrellist.org today. I'll be watching my email all day long, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Uh, let me know if you have any problems. I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.